In this video, I'm gonna give you the three secrets that you need in order to build a good content marketing program for your business. And that really begs the question, what is a good content program? I just built this graphic for my free community where I was describing what a good content marketing program is, and I'm gonna break it down for you in this video. So number one, your content program needs to make money. So number one, the content that you create needs to drive revenue for your business. And while that might seem obvious, and that's why most people start to create content for their business, a lot of people get distracted when they start to create videos. A lot of my clients will have created one or two videos. They'll start to post content and then they'll ask me what's next. And really the answer is not to get distracted. Don't worry about going out and posting content to every platform that exists on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. You don't need to post content on all those platforms. The single most important thing that you need to focus on first is how do I actually create good content? Good content that's going to generate revenue for the business. And while this formula might seem simple, this is the basic framework that I've used to generate a multi multiple six-figure business, help other businesses grow their business, and build profitable content marketing programs. So before you sit down and actually create content, you wanna think, how can I give my target audience a secret weapon? How can I give them a tool that they can take from my video or my content and deploy that into their business successfully that gives them a competitive advantage over the marketplace? And I also call this the $5 rule. You wanna make sure every time they see your content, they feel like they've got $5 or more from you. That's a simple way to make sure they never get tired of seeing your content, which is a common worry when people start to create content. So the single best action that I've taken before I've created content is to sit down and craft a wow statement. And it's quite simple. After somebody watches one of your videos, you want them walking away saying, wow, after reading or viewing this content, I understand that taking this action or not taking this action will make my life better in this specific way. And now I feel a lot better in this specific way. Now, just like a topic sentence in an essay, this is gonna allow you to build the framework and the perspective that you should be using to create the content ahead. You have to make sure that when you create this piece of content that you satisfy this requirement. That way, when someone walks away from your video, they say, wow, I'm really glad that I saw that and they share it with their friends. Now, the next thing every good content marketing program has is a team and a set of SOPs that help you and your team work together and create really good, consistent, high quality content over a long period of time. The biggest mistake that I see owners of businesses make when they start to build out their content marketing programs is that they assume that their team understands what the expectations are. It might sound very simple to you to take this video and to chop it up into clips for social media so that you can post that on TikTok or on Instagram, but it is not necessarily going to be obvious to your team on how to do that. So one of the best ways to help your team is to create a variety of checklists that they can use throughout the entire process. This is a podcast recording checklist. When you create these checklists, it makes it very simple for everyone to repeat the actions over and over to maintain the quality of the content you are trying to produce and also distribute. So whenever we're recording something, we've got a checklist. And every time we ask somebody to create content from those recordings, we also have guidelines that explain explicitly what we're expecting, what the objective is, what the instructions are, and even visual examples of what we're expecting the output to look like. Now, over time, your team is going to absorb all these checklists and all these guidelines, and they'll be able to operate without having to read them line by line. But in the beginning, and especially when you're bring in on new team members, having these checklists and these SOPs ready for your team to digest when they're going through the process is going to be vital for you to expect the same thing to happen week after week, day in and day out. Now, the final thing every good content marketing program needs is automation. Checklists and SOPs are great, but there are a lot of repetitive actions that are going to take place in your content marketing program from week to week, and they're all going to be the types of tasks that could be completely and 100% automated. Even when you have a well-functioning system and everybody knows what to do, the repetitive tasks are like rocks in your shoe and nobody likes to go hiking when you have rocks in your shoe. So when you go to your team to ask them to do more and to do it faster because you want to distribute more content to more platforms in a more nuanced way, instead of just making them do more of those repetitive tasks, it's best to isolate what are those repetitive tasks and automate it for them. So me and my team use a tool called Airtable that we built out to facilitate our content marketing program from beginning to end. It manages events, content, posting, workflows, channels, events, types. It really allows us to manage the entire content marketing workflow from beginning to end. But there is one piece of this automation that has been the most helpful by far. And that is tracking every single piece of content with a unique ID throughout the system with a given status for the copy or the image or the media and giving us easy access to those as well. So if I want to get access to the copy of this particular post, all I have to do is click this button and it's going to open up for me. So there you can see I have easy access to the copy and I can do the same thing for the image and the media. And you'll notice here, 
earlier while I was recording the video, something was updated here. So these basic automations of helping us keep track of the content, its location, its status between team members is vital to our efficiency. We can also get access to the core folders of where all of this content is stored. And all of these folders were created for us, so we don't have to do that on a regular basis. And so for this particular YouTube video, I can see all of the various pieces of content that should be created, and they're all stored within that particular event. And so every time we go to create a YouTube video or a webinar or a live show, the folder structures, the workflow, everything functions the same way, and people can get used to seeing those folders structured in a given way, and they know they are there, so they don't have to go searching for them, which is definitely a pain when you're busy and somebody's asking you to do even more. So the key to that good content marketing program is number one, you stay focused on that it makes money. It's very easy to get distracted off of that. You don't need to produce a lot of content. You don't need to be on a lot of different platforms to generate money consistently. Solve that problem first and then expand. Then you're gonna to wanna to build a good team with clear expectations and SOPs and guidelines. And then as you build that out, you're gonna to wanna to automate all of those repetitive tasks. So if you wanna learn how to build a profitable content marketing program with a strong team and all the SOPs you need to run it day to day, which is 99% automated, make sure to check out the free content academy. We're growing quickly. We've got over 400 members. It's active. We have a lot of people posting, answering questions, and we're really all focused on the same thing, making money with our content, our teams, our systems, our processes, and automation to make it simple. So there you go. I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video. I go in depth on how you can build out your own automated Airtable content marketing system. I go step-by-step -step on how to set up the Airtable database and how you can install the zaps to orchestrate all all of that folder and file creation to keep organized. Check out that video. Hope you find that valuable as well. I'll see you there.